Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and today we're going to be drawing another dragon. I know how much you guys love drawing that last dragon and uh, I feel like it was kind of a fan favorite. It was personally one of my favorites too. It was a lot of fun to draw. But today we're not going to be drawing a mythical dragon. Today we're going to be drawing a real dragon. Did you know that there's real dragons? That's right, there's a Komodo dragon, and that's the one we're gonna be drawing today. It's super cool, it has some really cool characteristics and like some kind of superpowers that I wanna share with you. So, are you guys ready to draw? Awesome, okay, well let's make sure we have everything we need to get started, and let's go. All right, make sure you have a nice clean sheet of paper. We always need a pencil for what? That's right, for sketching. And then we're gonna need some eraser of some type to erase the sketch underneath our outline, which we'll do with a dark marker or a pen once we're really comfortable with our sketch. And then at the very end, we're gonna do some coloring. Now, I got my markers here. You can use whatever you want. Whatever coloring tools you wanna use, crayons, paints, color pencils, whatever. It all works. All right, so let's start with our sketch. Now this one, the body shape is gonna be very unique. We're gonna have the tail kind of wrapped around and the head looking the opposite direction because I really wanna fit this whole Komodo dragon on this page, but I don't want to make it too tiny because they're really long. They're about eight to nine feet long and the males can get up to 200 pounds. They're huge. They're the biggest lizard in the world. So it's going to be kind of hard if we just have their tail all straight out here. It'll have to be really, really tiny. So I want to kind of wrap it up so we can get a really, we can see all the details on our Komodo dragon. So let's start with maybe the head shape. It's just going to be a really quick, uh, oval shape. Just We're going to lock in some of these main shapes and gestures just to find out where things are going to live and make sure that it all fits in here. Now we're going to have, you want, might want to kind of draw a line to kind of, we're just showing gestures like I said of where the body's going to go, how it's going to, how it's going to move. So we're going to kind of go like this. Draw a shape like that. There we go. Now that's going to kind of lead in where the neck is. And then we're going to have another shape that kind of goes back out here and this is going to be their main body. Now, if it's easier, you can kind of just do a big oval shape, a really loose oval shape. Let's try that. There we go. Doesn't this look just like a lizard? <laughs> I always hate when people come in and, and look at my drawing before I'm finished because I'm always like, it's not done yet. This is not what it's going to look like. And that's okay. Where I even do that. So if you feel the same way, I feel, I feel better about it. All right, I think all, all of us artists do that. All right, so now that we have that, now we gotta do, I might be able to bring this out a little bit more. Let's kinda show, let's kinda thicken up the neck a little bit. So let's just say the neck's gonna be, it's gonna kinda go back here. Kinda do some curves, kinda mimic this. We're gonna follow or copy this middle line. That's gonna be like kind of its spine. Let's just think of it like that if it's inside the body. It's gonna kind of hold it all together. So we kind of got it. This is all probably gonna get a little bigger. This might go further out, but we'll, that's why we're doing it at this stage to kind of figure out where all that stuff goes. So now we need to kind of get the front legs. Now they got really strong, or I should say front legs, front arms, I don't know. They're really, really strong in the front. So we wanna kind of draw those bulked up. But what I'm gonna do right now is just kind of draw some basic shapes before we go and really commit to any of those those lines. So kind of do a little shape like that. We'll do another one over here because we're going to show off those bulky arms. There we go. And then we're going to, it's going to kind of go back up right here on the arms so you can kind of see where the arms are. This guy's been working out. Look at those arms. You got some, those are, good, those are Popeye forearms. And then you got some big big biceps there. <laughs> so you can start seeing it's the front of their legs kind of going like that on there. So what I'm going to do now is just draw like a, the bottom of their body right here. Just a little curve, like a big stretched out U shape. If I'm going too fast, just slow it down and, and catch up. I'm going to go over everything again, but we're going to clean it all up. So you can just kind of treat this as kind of, you can just watch it too if you want and kind of see how I'm doing it and then do it yourself after, or you can follow along this stage. All right, so we got kind of the front of their body and, and the rest of the body is gonna be behind it. So we gotta draw one, we're gonna see one of the legs and we're gonna have the tail right in the front. So let's kind of draw that back leg there. Maybe just up like this. Maybe bring it 
in like that. Like, like two little brackets right there. You got big, strong back leg. Bring it back. I kind of, this really is kind of dinosaur like. I'm going to treat it kind of like I'm drawing a dinosaur. <laughs> kind of thicker, trunkier legs. And then we're going to kind of go like a little curve right there, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> like that. And then these things have crazy long claws, really sharp claws for shredding its prey. But uh, we'll draw those last. We'll draw the last because we want to make sure the arms are the right length and everything. So I'm pretty happy with how that, that foot looks. I mean, if you want to, we can just kind of skip this little part right there. Just kind of drop it in like that for now because we're just trying to get the length. And this, yep. And then let's try to figure out where that tail is. I'm going to go right where the crease is. I like to find where points kind of meet and just kind of use them so that it kind of it makes the whole thing feel a little more cohesive. Makes it feel like it's related. And it makes your art feel kind of nice. At least I think so. So that's kind of why I look for those relationships with my shapes and things within my drawings. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit lower here. It's okay to double over your lines, quadruple over your lines. <laughs> it's okay. I kind of make lots and lots of lines while I'm doing this. All right. So we got that. We kind of got the main parts on here. Now it doesn't look amazing yet. And that's because we still have to go in and refine all the shapes that we're drawing. But uh, you kind of get the main idea, right? We got some big shapes right here. We kind of got a kind of got a circle going on right there. So if you're drawing this and you're finding it a little difficult to, to follow, start with your big shapes. Go with your, your oval up here. We got a big circle and then we got to connect them because it's the neck. And then you can draw these little legs off to the side or the arms. I should, let's just say arms because they're in the front. Let's say you've got your arms and then we got the legs in the back and the other one's hidden, which is kind of nice because we don't have to draw it. And then we got that big long tail that kind of comes around to the front. I feel like that's pretty good. Now let's kind of refine a few things and then we can really see what we're working with. I think this guy's arms look a little big, a little big. I mean, they're, it's correct, I think, but let's maybe make them a little bit smaller. They look a little bit big compared to the rest of them. And maybe that just means we need to expand this out a little bit. Make that a little bit bigger and this maybe a little bit lower. I don't know. Okay, so let's do this head. Now I have this kneaded eraser. It's a different type of eraser. It kind of stretches out like that. <laughs> it's kind of cool. But what it does is it doesn't really erase 100%, but it does get a lot of, um, but it kind of softens things. This one erases everything because it's a hard eraser. It takes all the, the lead off of my paper and I can't see it. So sometimes what I do, either you just draw, you just sketch, you know, lightly to start or you just kind of go like that with one of these things. See, it picked up all the lead on there, all the graphite, and it keeps it on there so that you can see that, that main shape and we'll kind of build off of that. So let's start with that head up here. Now it's gonna look a little, well, dragonish. <laughs> the head does look dragonish. I guess I was trying to think of another animal it looks like, but it really does look like a dragon from the side view on its head. So let's look at that. I'm gonna kind of go start off like this and then I'm going to come down a little bit they kind of have a longer face and I'm going to have it go up to hold the eyeball to make sure that we're going to have a big eye on here so we'll have that go up there and then we'll stop it and then you'll see the kind of the head this kind of reminds me of a T-Rex I don't know if we remember drawing the T-Rex with me but you'll have kind of the, the eye, it kind of stops there behind the eyes and then it starts over as like kind of a little hump behind there. And that's where the rest of the, the neck goes. Like that. So you see that shape? Now what we gotta do is we're gonna make the mouth in there. So we're gonna kind of come down like this and then come down and around. I'm gonna make mine a happy Komodo dragon regardless of how they are in real life because <laughs> they are pretty terrifying in real life. They're, they're big and they can hunt really big animals. They can get humans, so I would stay away from them, but they can also get things as big as cows, like water buffalo and things, which is pretty incredible thinking about how big they are and how low they are on the ground, being able to take something that massive, thousands of pounds, 
and uh, and killing it. But yeah, they they are very good, very good at hunting, just because they have they like to be sneaky, and they can be fast. Surprisingly, they can be kind of fast. I feel like they're very much like an alligator, where you just don't expect them to be. They're kind of sneaky fast, where they can't do it for very long, but if they want to catch you really quick and they want to do a quick burst of energy and chase you, they're fast. They're really fast. I think like 13 miles per hour is what I heard. That's a pretty fast animal. They just can't do it for very long. Okay, so you see the big eyeball on there? We got the big friendly eye. We got the mouth over here. Now let's see. I want to kind of keep it open a little bit because I want to show their amazing forked tongue. We'll talk about that here in a minute. But let me kind of focus here and get this. I'm just going to have it kind of connect here. It's not going to be open too far. And then make sure the top lip is further out than this bottom lip. Otherwise it looks kind of weird. So I'm going to bring that back a little bit. And this needs to be, just cut it back just a little bit. There you go. Because that's going to round off right there. And the top lip kind of goes over the bottom. So we're going to have that kind of come back. And we're going to kind of do a little wavy thing. Let's see, does that work? Like that. And we'll just bring it back around here. Right there. So this line is basically bringing it all the way back. It's their jawbone. It's that one right back here. My beard's kind of in the way, but if you feel that big hard part right there that connects your neck to your head or to your mouth, you'll see it feel like that's your jawbone. So that's what we're drawing right there. And then it goes right up into their ear. They have a hole, very visible hole for their ears. They're not great at hearing, but they do have ears. And you can see them right there. Okay, I think I like how this is looking for my my mouth and for the head. It's kind of a longer face, like I said. All right, so let's do that big tongue. I'm going to have it kind of snaking out of here because they have a very snake-like tongue. It, too, is forked at the very end. So it kind of goes like this, like that. There you go. And I'm going to have to probably draw that a little bit bigger when I do my outline. Otherwise, it'll get kind of lost. But So this big, long tongue they use, just like snakes. Do you remember how snakes use their tongues? They basically use it to smell. They always keep it out there to kind of know where their prey is. And so like if their left side starts to have a lot more taste on it, on the left side of that forked tongue, they know that there's animals on that side. That's pretty cool, huh? So they have to use that tongue there to help them, help them hunt. So they got that big old tongue. Then let's see. Let's start with that. Let's fix that neck a little bit. It kind of goes back here. Nice little curve right there. I like that. And this goes over here. That might be a little... There you go. That was a little bit thick. The neck isn't that thick. <laughs> there we are. All right. So now let's look at this. these arms. These arms look a little bit too big. Just a little bit. They do have big arms, but this might be a tad too much. So let's go back down. We'll do that shape again. But this time we're going to kind of bring it in a little bit. We're going to cut in a little bit like that. And then we'll kind of go like this. And we'll. I kind of have it kind of bubbly, kind of round it off like that. And we'll do a little line kind of go through to kind of show where it kind of creased over. And then we're going to kind of go like this. And do the same thing on this side. Kind of do that deal. Got the crease. We're going to bring these in a little bit more. Do the same thing over here. Just bring it in. Whoa, this guy's totally been working out. It's <laughs> awesome. Okay, I'm going to do these little lines right here. And I'm just going to go like this because we're going to add some serious claws on here. Are you ready for that? Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to do one, two, three, four giant claws. One, two, three, four. There we go. We got those big giant claws on there, and uh, which really remind you of a, of a dragon, don't they? And then let's draw them back here too. So maybe like I had earlier, I'm going to have this go back a little bit in. Kind of like the shape I had. I'm going to add a little bump there so I can put all the, the toes on it. Kind of curve that a little bit. So now let's put the little toes on it again. 
We got one big one, two, we're gonna do three and just say the other one's kind of hidden back there. Otherwise it'll get a little too much. Oh, now it's starting to come together, huh? Now you're starting to see it all kind of come together. Let's kind of fix this thing. This line right here is just for me. I'm gonna draw it real light. But I, what I like about it is that it kind of helps me figure out where this chest separates, which we probably do want to put a little line there anyways. And so we'll separate all that. And then let's get this, maybe this starts a little bit lower. Clean that tail up a little bit. Maybe you want it a little bit lower so it doesn't run into the, the hands in the front. And uh, that's looking pretty good. Well, I think at this point we can start working with, I need to do anything else. Oh, let's do one last little thing. Let's do, I'm gonna erase some of this. Start erasing some of those lines that you're not gonna use because we don't wanna go over them with our, with our dark marker or, or pen that you're gonna be using for our outline. So if you need to clean up a few things, go ahead and do that now. But for that, we gotta draw the little nostril right there in the front. And then I'm gonna draw a little line right here to kind of separate. They kind of got a funky leathery neck. They got very leathery skin. It kind of, kind of makes me think of like dinosaur skin. But I think we should just go jump right into our outlines. All right, I think I'm gonna start with the body first. Let's start with the body first. There we go. So where are Komodo dragons found in the world? Because I think they're pretty rare. You don't see them, you don't hear people talking about seeing Komodo dragons all the time. Well, it's because they're only in, in one country in the world. They're in Indonesia, but they're kind of split up between five different or four or five different islands in Indonesia. So there's a good chance you haven't seen one in the wild, but I have seen one at a zoo and I thought that was the coolest thing. <laughs> Let's do the outline here. The leg. We got, I, I'm gonna add a little more creases here, maybe like a few right here, just to show that their leg bends that way. I like to add those in there. It helps show that the skin's kind of folding on top of itself to bend. Okay, let's do these feet right here. There we go with these big claws. Now they have big, sharp claws and they're really big animals. So when they go to take out a really big animal, it's a pretty unique way of, of hunting their prey or killing their prey. They kind of jump up, jump up at it, knock it over, and then they got those claws that kind of shred it to pieces, which is kind of terrifying. But also when they bite it, they have a lot of bacteria in their mouth and in their teeth. So when they bite it, it actually makes the animals sick and die anyways. So those bigger animals, if they just bite those big animals, um, they can kind of wait them out and let them start falling over on their own because of this, because of the bacteria in their, in their mouths that they pass on to the animal they bite. Pretty terrifying. So that's one of the superpowers I was mentioning earlier. <laughs> like a couple of them, right? They got like the, the poison, they have the poison um, saliva, but they also have the kind of like the chainmail bone structure to make it so that they are a lot stronger. It's called the os osteoderm. Osteoderm, I think is what it's called. Uh, that chainmail bone kind of structure underneath their skin. That's pretty cool. They got some really neat, really neat superpowers. And then it makes you, you know, kind of understand where people came up with the idea of dragons, you know, in stories and things, when they describe them. Sounds like they're describing a lot of animals that we have, that we're familiar with, that we know. So you can tell that that's kind of a, they're usually a bunch of different animals put together, which is those mythical creatures usually are. All right, let's get these big arms in the front. Oh, I made it a little bit smaller. <laughs> That's okay. I was a little self-conscious about his forearms, so maybe that's for the best. You're probably too young to know Popeye, but Popeye was a cartoon character who had massive forearms. This is your forearm right here, <laughs> the front part of your arm. He had massive forearms and they only got bigger and stronger when he ate spinach. Canned spinach, does that. Oh, canned spinach is gross, <laughs> I think. I like spinach, but canned spinach is kind of slimy. So maybe we should name our Komodo dragon Popeye. Let's name him Popeye. I like that name. Popeye. 
Okay. I mean, I got a little, I got a little sloppy with my, my outline there, but yours will be better, I'm sure. Okay, here we go. Let's draw the bottom of them. This guy's a little wide. <laughs> he could be a little wide. He ate a lot. They can eat up to 80% of their body weight, just speaking of weight. They can eat up 80% of their body weight in one sitting. So if they can eat 80% of their body weight in one sitting, that's equal to 106, if they're 200 pounds, let's take the biggest male Komodo dragon. He weighs 200 pounds. 80% of 200 pounds is 160 pounds of food. That's so much food. That is so much food they can eat just in one sitting. That's impressive. Treat every day like Thanksgiving, apparently. A big old feast. All right, so now let's work on this mouth here. They do have sharp teeth. I just didn't draw them because his mouth is closed right now. <laughs> and we have it for the, well, kind of open a little bit just for the, just for the tongue to show. Get that ear. Maybe you want to have the mouth open and you want to have all the teeth showing. That would be cool too. All right, let's see if I can get this forked tongue in here without, oops, there we go. Ooh, there we go. Kind of made that look a little, a little funky, but we got it in there. We got that forked tongue. Now we gotta get this big eyeball right here. And you better believe I have a fact about their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> They're just such cool creatures and I'm always in I'm always interested when I'm drawing something to understand why they look the way they do. That really helps me draw them. So that's why I share facts with you. One because I'm interested and I think you'll be interested too. But two, it really helps me observe what they look like and try to understand why am I drawing it like this or why do they look like that? And that kind of can help me with my drawing skills. Um, just knowing those types of things. So this one with their eyes, they can see up to like 900 and something feet away. They can see a long ways away. They got great eyesight. Make up for their poor ability to hear. There we go. Now maybe we can add some lines. Now their skin is such a cool texture. Um, you can do a lot of that with color, but I'm also going to add some of those lines maybe just here with a marker, the outline here, just just to kind of set it up for when I, when I do color it. Because I'm not gonna have anything darker than black when I color, so I wanna make sure my darkest stuff is in, is in black. So I'm gonna draw these little lines here. There we go. Let's see what else. We should have some back here too. There we are, maybe a couple more down here. Cool. Now the rest of it we can do with our with our markers or crayons, or whatever you're planning on using. But uh, let's go ahead now and just erase all of the pencil on there, and uh, we should be ready to to start coloring, which I'm really excited for because it has some really cool textures and things on it, and some cool colors. They come in like blues, oranges, grays, green. There's lots of colors that Komodo dragons can come in, and you can use whatever color you want. If you want to just do purple or red, that would be awesome too. So I think I'm gonna go more the blues route. I think blues would be kind of cool. But uh, all right, I'm gonna start coloring in Popeye. You color in your Komodo dragon, and we'll catch up right after. is the tongue and I'm done. Popeye is finished. <laughs> I love how he turned out. I loved doing the colors. I thought it was so much fun. Did you have fun doing the colors? Awesome. Well, there's lots of opportunities to, to do some really cool things and uh, I'm really happy. I see I made little, little mistakes here and there, but uh, that's okay. We all make mistakes. And the thing is, is now everybody knows I did it by hand and it wasn't done on the computer, which is more impressive, I feel, sometimes. Well, I'm really proud of you guys. Thank you guys for sticking around and doing this video with me. Now, I'm really proud of what I made. Hopefully, you are too and you want to own your work by signing your name on it so everybody knows that it's yours. 
shows everybody how proud you are of your work. So I'm just going to do my initials right here off to the side and I'm good to go. Well, thank you guys. We do this Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and big news. We're going to be drawing things other than animals. And I know I've said this a few different times, but it's for real happening. We're going to be drawing things other than animals. We're going to keep drawing animals. We're going to mix them in there, but we're also going to draw lots of other fun things per your request. So thank you guys so much for requesting animals all along this time. And now start thinking of other things you'd like me to draw because I want to put those in a big list and start knocking those off for you as well. Well, you guys are awesome. And because you guys are awesome, I want to share some of your amazing work. Yes, it's Friday and I show off a lot of the work that you guys have submitted to me throughout the week. So I want to thank your parents for sending those in to us. And uh, remember, keep sending us your artwork because one, I want to see it, but also it can be seen by a lot of other people and appreciate the amazing things that you guys have drawn. So stick around right after this. We're going to have a little slideshow a lot of your work, maybe yours is in there. And uh, remember, before I let you go, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. Alrighty, we'll see you guys next time.